Can body freezing ensure eternal life? Humanity has long been interested in the idea of eternal life. Science does not stand still and is actively engaged in the extension of life. Since the elixir of eternal youth hasn't been found to date, some people see cryonics, body freezing, as a way out. They hope that in the future medical technology will reach such a level that a person can be defrosted and revitalized. The prerequisite to the idea of freezing living organisms was the phenomenon of anabiosis. This is a suspension of vital activity by an organism in adverse conditions such as cold or drought, and recovery in favorable conditions. From the middle of the 17th century, experiments on freezing, or more correctly, cooling animals began to be carried out, since their vital activity did not stop, but simply slowed down. Studies from the 1920s to 1940s showed the reversible freezing of large organisms was impossible since the formation of ice during freezing leads to destruction of cells. Beginning in the mid 20th century, glycerin was used in freezing to protect against the formation of ice crystals and cell damage. This made it possible to safely freeze small amounts of tissue from mammals and humans. Research in molecular biology during the 1950s suggests that the cell damage in the initial stage of death and during freezing is not so extensive that it would be impossible to repair it. The first freezing of man was carried out in 1967 in California, and by 1980 there were already 20 lucky ones who decided to try their luck by resorting to cryonics. However, due to lack of funds, 19 of them were later unfrozen and buried in the usual way. Today, only a small part of scientific community regards cryonics as a real prospect for immortality. Despite this, the number of frozen people is growing. There is no exact procedure which would allow reanimation of cryo patients. The solution would be found in nanotechnology, growing organs, 3D printing of organs, or organ transplantation. Skin, cornea, bone marrow, semen, and embryos are already frozen for storage and later use. The freezing of a living person subsequent recovery is not yet possible due to the heterogeneity of tissues and organs and the distribution of cryptoprotectants in them, but it is impossible to ensure 100% cell integrity. The freezing of a human body proceeds as follows. Immediately after death, cryptoprotectants are introduced into the circulatory system, then the body is cooled to the temperature of liquid nitrogen and placed upside down in a tank with liquid nitrogen. This is to save the brain in case of unexpected warming. In these conditions, a body can be stored without a special change for hundreds of years. The main requirement is maintaining the amount of nitrogen, which tends to evaporate. Therefore, cryonics is an expensive luxury. So, if you believe that humanity can defeat death in the future, and you have a decent amount of money you don't know what to spend for, you can sign a contract for freezing your body with Cryofirm. You might be lucky enough to see the future. Would you like to live forever? Subscribe to our channel and like if you enjoyed our video.